So what is keyword optimization? Optimizing your keywords is the process of first finding the proper keywords, then choosing which one of those, and then testing out your performance on those keywords to make sure that your choices were accurate ones. So why is keyword optimization important? First of all, if you're ranking for the proper keywords, you can reach to your target audience easily. Also, if you reach to your target audience, um, you will have a huge user base of high quality users. So as we mentioned before, high quality users, also known as organic users, are the user group that has the most likeliness to spend money on your app. So the central process of doing keyword optimization is often referred as the keyword optimization cycle. We call this a cycle because it's not just a single practice. So first, you find the keywords, you choose which keywords you want to go with, and then you test your results. But it doesn't end there. After you do your initial testing, usually you will have to revisit those keywords, remove some of them, go back to the drawing board and find some more keywords, then again choose from them and test it. So as you keep doing this process, you have an even more optimized keyword list that will present your app in the markets. So never get discouraged when you have an uh, initial keyword list. Maybe you choose 10, 20 keywords, but only three or four of them ranked. So in this case, it's not healthy to say that app store optimization doesn't work. Instead, you have to revisit and find what, what went wrong and then decide for the correct keywords. So let's start with the first step of keyword optimization cycle. So the first step is finding keywords. So in this process, it is expected from you to find a huge bulk of keywords that you can use or you can choose from like that list. So to uh, elaborate this a bit more, First, we have to understand the types of keywords. So in its core, keywords are single words or phrases that represent your app in the store. So when a user searches for a specific app, it can be the app's name, if they have heard it before, or they might be looking for a certain app that fulfills one of their needs. So they will use certain keywords for that, and knowing this is very important. So first, we have root keywords, or, or also known as seed keywords. So these are single words that have a very broad meaning. They are like very generic, so it's very difficult to find something on that. You can imagine, let's say, the keyword GPS. So when you search for the, G, the keyword GPS, you can get a GPS navigation app. You can get Find My Family app. You can get even a dating app. So rather than that, as a second type of keywords, we have long tail keyword keywords. So long tail keywords serve a specific purpose and they are often searched by organic users who are looking for a specific app. So in this case, instead of GPS, we can say GPS family locator. So although it has the keyword GPS inside of it, it actually serves a different purpose. Someone who's searching for this keyword knows exactly what they're looking for. So if, let's assume you have a family GPS locator app, if you target this keyword, you're very likely to rank high from it and then convert that user. So in this case, while you are finding some keywords, you should first start with seed or root keywords and compile a big list. But always at the back of your head, try to think about possible combinations that you can construct meaningful long tail keyword ideas. So let's continue on how we find these keywords. So first of all, the most obvious one, we have brainstorming. So what is brainstorming? You can come together with a couple of your friends, maybe your colleagues, you can do it on your own. So the idea here is to 
think like one of your potential users. They have never heard about your app, but they need an app like yours. So how would you, in this case they, would search for this? So this might be difficult for you because you're inside the business, but asking a lay person or someone who's not familiar with the topic or the app will produce you some wonderful results. Next up, we have web research. So this is a very generic one, but usually it consists of um, visiting forums about your competitors' apps or just the general topic, um, looking at YouTube videos or just blogs to find how people use the language in your field. Um, there are some old courses or guides that mention that you can use Google keyword tools, but the thing is, the search behavior on mobile phones and on the web uh, dimension has changed, like has gone to us two separate dimensions. And this is especially pronounced when someone is searching for an app. Because someone doesn't search for an app the way they search for a website. So I suggest you not to use too much web-based keyword tools to like assist in your ASO. The next step we have review mining. So this doesn't come like too sensible to you perhaps if you haven't heard about it before. But review mining has a very central role in finding keywords. So to do so, you can check your own reviews, you can check your competitors' reviews, or you can check like the most mentioned keywords in your reviews. Um, so by knowing this, you can have a better understanding on what features your users like, what type of uh, words they use, what type of wording they have when they um, pronounce their uh, comments, their feedback about the app, and also you can know what makes them unhappy, you can see what they expect from your competitors, and then you can start targeting those keywords perhaps. And then the final, but perhaps the most time saver and most important part is tracking your competitors. So uh, let me make this straight. In this step, you are most likely going to need an ASO tool to do this. You can use the free versions of various tools out there. You can get a trial, try it out, because rather than doing your work blindly, knowing exactly which keywords your competitors rank for, and also some of the metrics that are very important to ASO, which I'll be mentioning very shortly, will save you so much time and you will avoid a lot of mistakes and wrong keywords.